Hi everyone, I am Neil Trevitt and I work on developer ecosystems at NVIDIA and I am also president of the Kronos Group. Thank you for coming today. I am happy to welcome you to this 3D Commerce workshop and I'm going to introduce you to the Kronos Group and some of our key technologies and initiatives that are driving standardization for 3D Commerce. I hope this background will be useful as you listen to more details throughout the day. But first, let me offer Kronos' sincere thanks to x Pantone for their hospitality and assistance in hosting today's event. This is an excellent time to be talking about the business opportunity of 3D Commerce, and both companies hope that you will find today both interesting and useful. So what is the definition of 3D Commerce? At Kronos, we define 3D Commerce as using 3D graphics in online retail. The basic technology to use 3D in online retail has existed for many years and pilot projects showed that 3D was indeed an effective technology for driving customer engagement and increased online sales. So why isn't 3D commerce more widely used today? We have come to realize that the main barrier to deploying 3D commerce at industrial scale is the process friction between hundreds of companies trying to cooperate over the design, manufacture, and presentation of thousands of products across multiple platforms. This is a classic class of problem that industry cooperation and standardization can help solve. So who is Kronos and why are we involved in 3D commerce? Well, Kronos is an open standards consortium providing a safe place for the industry to cooperate to create interoperability standards to enable applications to access the power of silicon acceleration in domains such as 3D graphics, virtual and augmented reality and parallel computation. We are a non-profit organization and all the standards that we create are open and royalty free for the industry to use. We have been working on standards for 20 years and have almost 160 members now, everyone from the largest companies down to small startups spread around the world, including many companies in China, including Huawei, Alibaba, JD.com and others. Any company who wishes to join Kronos is welcome to participate, to have a voice and a vote in how Kronos international standards evolve. So Kronos has a long history of creating open standard 3D graphics APIs, together with standards used in augmented and virtual reality. This means that the industry's leading 3D technology companies, including platform owners, GPU vendors, together with 3D software tool, engine, and application developers are already Kronos members. And so when the world's leading e-commerce companies needed an organization to host cooperation to build standards for the use of 3D technology in 3D commerce, websites, apps, and social media, Kronos was the natural organization to approach. In response to this outreach from the retail industry, Kronos established the new 3D Commerce Working Group for any Kronos member to join. The 3D Commerce Working Group now brings together a unique mix of technology and retail companies with both real world insights into 3D commerce challenges and use case requirements and the technical expertise to create standards and guidelines that will be effective solutions to those challenges to bring 3D commerce to industrial scale. Here are the most active Kronos standards, including many that are directly relevant to 3D commerce. On the left are the 3D graphics APIs, including the new generation Vulkan API for the highest performance games, AR and VR on both desktop and mobile platforms, and WebGL that brings interactive 3D graphics and AR to the web. The OpenXR standard provides portable access to augmented and virtual reality devices, including HMDs and mobile phones. However, the Kronos standard that's most closely related to 3D commerce is GLTF, which will come up repeatedly through this day. So let me just briefly introduce you to GLTF right now. GLTF is a 3D asset format focused on being widespread, compact, and easy to process. And so we like to call it the JPEG of 3D, 
as it is the last mile JPEG equivalent to let you easily transport and deploy and use realistic looking 3D assets wherever you need. Support for GLTF is now widespread throughout the industry and the companies shown here have all implemented GLTF support, both in tools that generate GLT assets and engines and applications that ingest those GLTF models. This widespread adoption of GLTF makes it the ideal asset format to be the foundation of 3D commerce. In fact, the 3D Commerce Working Group is inspiring GLTF's roadmap evolution, including a metadata extension to hold complex product information and a series of upcoming extensions for a new generation of physically based rendered or PBR materials to realistically display a wide range of retail products. The 3D Commerce and GLTF Working Groups are also working closely together to create sample viewers and certification tools to ensure that GLTF 3D assets are accurately and reliably displayed, whatever the end user's device or software. So the 3D Commerce Working Group is leveraging GLTF and other kernel standards to enable the widespread deployment of 3D in retail. The low-level kernel standards such as WebGL and GLTF are general purpose and can be used in many different markets. It's the 3D Commerce Working Group that is focused on ensuring that these kernel standards meet the needs of the online retail market and is creating additional standard extensions, guidelines and certification programs to grow the significant business opportunity. So that's the end of my brief introduction. As we mentioned at the start, thank you for coming today. If after listening to the presentations, you think your company could benefit from participating in Kronos, you'll be very welcome to join our other Asian members and get a voice and a vote in how all Kronos standards evolve to benefit your business and a 3D commerce industry. If you have any questions on Kronos membership, Dennis at the event is our regional director in China and would be delighted to help you. Thank you.